today, we're here at Wee Day in Kitchener, Waterloo. It is just so awesome seeing all these kids here who want to make a difference in this world, just dancing around and having a lot of fun with all the other kids that are here. We're here today because we want to make a change in the world and we want to have a better future for all of us. Alright guys, we're excited to watch the show, so let's get to it! Woo! Um, someone that is no stranger to the Wee Day crowd, as you know, Mr. Craig Kielberger, the co-founder of Wee Day. He sparked a movement when he was just 12 years old, and now here we are inspiring over 200,000 youth in over 14 cities. So I'd like everyone to join me in welcoming Craig. Um, it's now my, well actually I think it's your pleasure to invite him up, but if I can just say how cool it is that we are inviting him up, um, to have a chance to hang out with someone who is uh, truly now an iconic story of leadership, but long before he was, you know, made in, like a global icon, a result of Tom Hanks in a global blockbuster film, you know, people knew his story as someone who brought a global awareness to issues affecting the Horn of Africa. Someone who has showed what leadership is in the truest sense of the word when we hold up a lot of false leaders in our world. So please join me in welcoming Captain Richard Phillips up to the stage. <laughs> I'm from the YouTube channel Dumb Canadian Kids. It's such an honor to meet you both. Uh, my question is for Craig. So right now I'm the age that you were when Paul Story has affected you. Very cool. <laughs> yeah, and um, now that you've already made such a big difference, is there any advice that you would give to me or your 12-year-old self? Uh, that's a really cool question. Uh, the advice I would give to you, and I would also give to my 12-year-old self, is an equation I'm going to talk about this afternoon called um, spark plus gift equals better world. So I think we all have a spark, something we see that makes us passionate. We homelessness, violence, poverty, whatever it is. But I also believe we all have a gift. And this is what I think we sometimes don't realize. We all have something special. So it took a lot of courage. You're 12 years old. So to stand up here, to be a junior journalist, to share this story takes a lot of courage. So my advice, when I was 12, the first thing I did was share this article, and, and I had no idea how to start. And I wish someone actually said to me, it's easy. Find what you care about, match it with your gift, what you're naturally good at, what you love to do, and that's how you change this world. So thanks for the question. Okay. Um, ah, start with the youth and with the youth. I love it. <laughs> Hi, my name is Liam Alexio, and I'm from the YouTube channel, Dumb Canadian Kids. Uh, my question cool. first is for Captain Phillips. Uh, do you think being on that ship with the pirates changed your point of view of what's happening in this world? Uh, no, I don't think it changed it. It reinforced uh, some of my beliefs uh, that I talked earlier that, uh, you know, we're all set, set with problems. You, you, every kid has problems. Everybody has problems. We all have to deal with them as best we can. And, and that's all I did on, on, on that ship. So I don't think it changed my view at, at any at all. I've been sailing for 35 years. I've been on every continent. I've that dealt with many different cultures and many third world countries so I've pretty much seen how the value of life is in other countries how it's different in the United States and uh, as I said last night you know uh, from a Cosby Mrs. Nash National Young song something you probably don't remember uh, some of the things uh, that you complain about I don't even understand. Today day we found these little bags and for each 25 tunis that you have in this bag it can provide one goat for a family in Africa. It's pretty sick. But giving a goat to a family in Africa could do a lot of good things for them, including giving them money. Well, because they don't have a most of them don't have jobs, and a goat will give them a job. They will it will give them milk, and eventually give them more goats. They could get some chickens if they sell them, and a lot of stuff like that. So basically, giving someone in Africa a goat is just saving them is saving them from poverty, which is like a really really big thing. Twenty-five tunis equals a goat. One goat equals economic empowerment for a family, and empowerment equals a world full of opportunities. We encourage everyone to donate. 
Thank you so much to Wee Day for giving us this amazing opportunity. Thank you guys. We had a lot of fun.